Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will give you an introduction to audio editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Here we are inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and you'll see I've got a video track here uh, with an audio track down below. So all the video appears on the V tracks, and all of the audio I mix will be here on the A tracks down below. First thing I'll do is I'll actually expand this track out a little bit so I can really see the waveform and I can use plus and minus to zoom in on my keyboard to really get an idea of what is going on. So let's take a look at some of the things I do. First of all, I would switch Adobe Premiere Pro to the audio workspace up here. This gives me a few tools to work specifically with audio. Now, for instance, here I've got dialogue. Let's play a bit. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio. OK, so that's me speaking on a lavalier microphone. I will select that audio and tell Premiere that it is dialogue. OK, that means I can now work with that dialogue. I can improve that dialogue using things like dynamics to make it a little louder and clearer. Let's try that. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. And here how that boosts up the sound of the voice. I can add on some EQ if I want. That's available to me down here. Here. And let's give it a nice preset like podcast voice. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio. Just again, enhances the voice with a few clicks. Really easy to do. OK, next, I want to take a look at the audio clip mixer, which is over here. It's up here in this window. Audio clip mixer allows me to mix multiple clips together and see what the levels are like. So obviously, if I play this. Hello, I'm Mike. That's my voice. And I can actually go ahead and rename that if I want. I can call this voice. So I know for sure that is my voice track. And down here, I've got a music bed. I can bring that in and drop it in on A2. And I can actually label this as music so that now the music is playing underneath my voice. Hello, I'm Mike Russell for music. But as you can see from the levels, let's rename this to music, this second track now. The music is way too loud, so I can go ahead and do different things. First of all, I could normalize my voice track by hitting the G key on my keyboard, G, and I can normalize the max peak to 0 dB. And what that means is the loudest part of my voice will be maximized to be the loudest it can be. Let's click OK. And it's made a small little change there. But if this voice was really quiet, Let's actually take this down by quite an amount. There we go. If this recording was a lot quieter and I hit the G key and went normalize max peak to zero dB, boom, it's going to make that voice really loud. Now, in the same way, I can go on to the music track. I can hit the G key and I can actually say adjust the game by, well, actually take off 9 dB. So minus 9 dB. Click OK. Let's play it back now. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. And you can start to hear that the mix is getting a lot better there. Now I can do more with this. Um, another little tip I like to say when you're editing audio in the audio workspace of Premiere is hit the plus key here below the, uh, the program preview. And you've actually got a load of buttons that aren't normally available. One of my favorites for audio editing is loop playback. You can drag this down onto your bar here. And you can enable this. And what I'll do is I'll actually select the start of my voice and I'll take it to here. And I'm putting in and out markers by hitting I for the in marker and O for the out marker. You can also do that by right clicking and adding your in and out markers. You can either clear in, clear out, or you can add in and out markers as well. And when I enable loop, hello, I'm Mike Russell. It'll from loop this round and round. On my channel, hello, I'm Mike Russell. From and I can actually make that shorter if I want to really focus in on a small part of audio. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello. And as I do that, I can change levels here on the mix of view. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. So as you can hear, I'm getting the music bed to the correct level, so you can really hear what I'm saying. And then we're going to go to the audio track mixer here where you can actually pop out this tiny little triangle in the top left. But don't be deceived by the tiny little triangle because it's full of a lot of power. Now I can add effects to each different track. So if I wanted to add an effect to let's have a look here. If we actually go down to the bottom of this view, you'll see this is my voice track. 
This is like an effects rack where I can add lots of different audio effects. So a basic effect I might want to add to my voice is under filter and EQ, some parametric equalizer. And once that's added, I can go in and on loop mode, I can start adding things like a high pass filter. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike. That's rolling off some of the bass so we can Pull up the high end by taking this high dot Russell, here. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm... And we can also start messing around with frequencies. Mike Russell. Hello, I'm 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 Mike Russell. <laughs> it's, it's quite crazy hearing the same phrase over and over, but it does help when you're working with audio. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm... Okay, so we got some EQ on there, and finally I might go in and add a little bit of dynamics. It's under amplitude and compression dynamics. And in here, I'm allowed to do things such as compressing. Uh, so again, push the ratio up a little bit. Put on a limiter so it doesn't get too loud. What that will do is it will stop the audio peaking above minus one dB, no matter how loud you go. I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. So as you can see, I'm compressing my audio and then I'm turning up the gain till I hit the limiter. And we've got quite a sweet spot there. Let's actually disable loop mode. Play this all back now. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com on my channel and you get the idea of exactly what is possible. So that's audio editing in a nutshell in Adobe Premiere Pro. We've got dialogue, we've labeled it as such, we've put in music, we've labeled it as such, we've changed gains using the G key or the mixer in the audio workspace, and we've even delved into adding different effects to certain audio tracks inside the sequence that you're working on in Premiere Pro. Whether that's a bit of parametric equalizer to shape the frequencies in the voice, or a little bit of the dynamics effect to compress the voice further and make it even easier to hear what is being said. There's so much you can do, uh, too much probably to cover in one video, but let me know how you work with audio in Premiere Pro and what kind of video you'd like to see next on my channel in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video and also if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio video from me. Creative